Hello, um, just a quick video on how you can actually add iframe into an edX platform. I have search high and low for a really quick solution and you need I've, I've also been to YouTube and looking all oh, you know all over this yeah uh, my problem was when uh, if I were to go for this I've put in the, the title now I want to add in the iframe tool uh, there's a long instruction there and then um, the key thing is that uh, they ask you to actually put in uh, follow this exactly to put in the title and put in the URL of the tool. Yeah. So now in this particular um, short video, I'm gonna show you straight away how you can um, add in the iframe. Yeah. To 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 do something like this. All right. Where I have a playlist of uh, uh, videos that I have compiled for my students, and I really want them to. Uh, to watch the video video from only uh, one page okay rather than going scrolling to the next page and so on yeah so how do I do that okay let's just go to um, this page again uh, on edX platform where you just added in the instruction for iframe 2 click on edit all right then what you do just remove all this okay and also the one at the bottom okay leaving just that part of the um of the instruction of the uh, coding yeah <clears throat> so once you've done that you go back to html where you can edit the text okay so the first thing you need to remove is the first line here this is the heading okay and i'm going to also uh, remove the whole thing here right leaving the last okay so now what you do is you need to go back to where is your play, uh, playlist your playlist is here you go to share and you go to embed click on the whole thing copy highlight the whole thing and copy bring it back to to here all right and enter yeah so the start of an iframe for edX is that it has to have a title all right so then we just put in title equal to yeah um add in for example uh my title us dr dr aisha close the bracket okay and then um so the ones in green means is okay the coding is okay that is from my interpretation and uh, the rest leave it as it is and let's just click OK all right so I've got my playlist here already I'm quite happy um, I also want to make it bigger so you can actually f uh, fill uh, a page so I'll just go back to HTML what I do is I just need to change the width to about 800 and uh, the height to about maybe 400 just just to go later you can always modify it yeah then click ok again so now it's bigger and you can save it you see that and what you do is preview it so in this one yeah, I preview it so I, my students can just see it straight away from my playlist yeah without going really without going into um, they don't have to go in and out or scroll it down. Assalamualaikum okay. warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alright, that's about it. Thank you very much.